guys welcome back to the channel if you're new welcome today i'm going to be working with embroidery i'm going to be using my multi-needle embroidery machine this is a ricoma em 1010 and i'm going to be embroidering two shirts straight embroidery you know applique or anything like that pretty simple designs and i'm also going to be cutting some dtf transfers that i ordered and doing an unboxing uh, of a price that i won uh, on the ricoma deco summit they company sent me the boxes already i have not seen it yet there are two big boxes and i will tell you what they are okay so i will see you in a little bit so i am using ingredients essentials i just want to show you the two files that i'm going to be working with i both both file um, on etsy just came with the skeletons i added the phrase same as this one right here I added the phrase down here, the skeletons and the flowers were included on the files, not the phrase. Straight embroidery, very easy. This one is gonna be going on a black t-shirt and this one right here is gonna be going on a navy blue t-shirt. I like this one for the fact that it doesn't have the flowers around. So I wanted to uh, offer another options. Not everybody likes flowers on their shirts. So I thought it was a good um, choice, all right? So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the craft table. See you over there. All right, guys. So I have already hooked both of the shirts. The designs are pretty similar, like I showed you earlier. I'm gonna be starting with this one right here, which is all white. Um, and like I mentioned before, I'm using the A by 13 hoops by um, Mighty Hoops, Magnetic Hoops. And I'm gonna be starting with this one. While this one is going, I'm gonna be um, starting with the unboxing. One of the boxes are on the garage. I'm gonna to try to bring it in, it's huge. The other one is here, so I might start with the little one and then go and um, finish the other one, all right? Because like I said, I don't know what it is inside the boxes, in specifically when it comes to color sizes or whatever they send this company, which I'm gonna mention later on. And yeah, so let's get started. I have my designs already inside the machine, the embroidery machine. Let me make sure that I have enough bobbin thread again, because last night I was embroidering. Oh, okay, it looks pretty good. And both shirts are large size shirts. If you want to know how to hook on the, or use the Mighty Hook, I have videos tutorial that show you how to hook the shirts using Mighty Hoops. Um, I have videos using just the hoop on the table and I also have videos using the Mighty Hoop Hoop Master, uh, which makes it easier for you to hook the shirts in a jiffy like that. And I also have videos using the backing holder, which is an item, let me see if I can see the big one. I don't see the big one here. The A by 13 is here somewhere. But anyway, it's similar to this one right here. Okay. And you use this backing holder to make easy hooping the shirts on the table. It's amazing. Check it out. Go to Mighty Hoops and they'll have all sizes uh, for all kind of hoops, uh, Mighty Hoops, all right? And yeah. So let me go back here. Oh, it's back here. <laughs> I redid my room the other day and then move things around this is the one for the a by 13 mighty hook the backing holder right here okay all right okay i think you have a good view in here i'm using my phone to record so. okay this is good view okay so um, I have already done the colors right here for this design. Go escape. I'm gonna place it to needle one. That's the one that I used to trace the design. And this is the design right here. Okay. Let me escape. Let me go to design set. I'm gonna rectify that this is the A. Uh, by 13 even though it's here already as a hoop D the size that is the original um, three comma hoop size but I always go back and choose it again 
because you know I just want to make sure that the machine rectifies that I am in fact on that machine and it recenter it even better so escape and I'm gonna go ahead and move the needle to the position that I want I hope I'm not blocking it with my arm. Right there. I'm gonna move you this way because I think this way I won't block you as much. You can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Actually, no, this is better. This is gonna be better for you guys. I just don't want to block what I'm doing, you know, block you while I'm doing this, or your view. All right, this is, looks pretty good to me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trace, click this icon here. It asks me enter embroidery, enter to embroidery status. I say yes, I'm gonna enter to embroidery status, and it's tracing. I just wanna make sure that needle number one, which is this one, does not, touch the frame if you have a bigger design and you want to make it even more specific i'm going to go to this icon which has the heart the one on the top and it's going to give me a more precise tracing which is going to go around the contour of the design you see i lower the needle and i'm not even close to the frame this is good to use when you are embroidering larger designs that are too close to the frame because you don't want to hit the frame Okay, and like I said, you don't need to use this paper. I did it as a visual to um, center the thing, but you can use the screen to center the item to the middle of the frame. Um, like I said, I know this is cool, so you might want just to be like that without using this, and you still can tell that this is not close to the frame right here. Okay. I might move it a little bit higher to the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna to see how much room I have. I might move this a little bit taller. Yeah. So I'm gonna move it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and trace again. And this design has a lot of colors, um, seven to be exact, some of them repeat. And that's it, so we're gonna get started, people. Okay, okay you get closer. While this is going, I'm gonna go ahead and get the first box to um, do the unboxing, okay? I'll be back. Small to two extra large. 
and they have different um, colors. People, it's a hundred shirts. I have shirts for my business for a while now. Okay. So let's go here. So this is a pack, extra large. Oh, these are extra large on this color. And people, I ordered a lot of this color, but I have not much left from children. So I have them at Amazon. This is the uh, average um, thick, which is perfect. Let's go back to size. I don't know how to get more containers to store it, and I don't know where I'm going to put them. I have to put the PA to the store. And this one is a whole bunch, and these are extra large. All these clothes are excellent. Okay. So yeah. So this is the shirt right here. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean right back with the rest of the shirt. Let's see what other clothes I have. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna. Um, place the camera here so that you can watch the embroidery while I go get the other box, okay? Okay guys, this is the other box and I just want to clarify, I showed you that I was going to embroider this one the white one, but it's not. It's the color one. So yeah, this is the one that we are really going to employ. Alright? And this one is going to be the second. I switched the papers on the color. Okay. So let's open this. Thank you. 
I'm gonna move the camera back to the embroidery, all right? This one I ordered was the last pack that I ordered, and this one is from again Atlanta Vinyls. And I need to cut them in the pieces that I'm going to be um, using them for. And this is, I believe, I ordered 72 inches Yanshi, and let me stand up. You can see how much is that. It's a lot. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them up while the machine is going. And it's going to be the first one. And then I'm going to be pressing some of the shirts uh, on a future video. It will be a couple of days because I need to press a lot of shirts for these transfers. Um, yeah. So. the first design this one is the same one that I did on rhinestones last week I released the video I changed the phrase at the bottom the one that I did with the rhinestone says just breathe this one says take care of your mind and this is the emblem or the logo for uh, mental health um, suicide prevention so yeah For those who follow my channel, you know what I'm talking about. I released that video last week. For those who are new, go ahead and click back last week and you can see the whole tutorial um, that I did rhinestone, two rhinestone shirts, okay? And this is one of them. I'm gonna cut one of each so that you can um, see the ones that I ordered and then I'm gonna take you back to the embroidery, all right? this okay
placed my um, EPF once I cut it on this little file in here. The embroidery is almost done, that one, okay? If I can get it out of here. There you go. Okay, this is what I keep them, and that way they are all organized. And um, when I need them, I know they're there. They're not in a row. Some of them are big, tall, but it doesn't, you know, it just fits, it fits, okay? All right. And I keep them in the bash, and I know they came from the same order. So if something happened to one of them, I know that they all came from the same batch order. So the last one is my last order right here. And yeah. So, I feel like this. They tend to roll, they tend to want to roll. I have to open them again. <laughs> That's the only thing, you have to hold it, because otherwise they will become a roll down there, like a roll. Put it flat like this. They don't bend, they just go like that. And this is how I keep them. So, so here is where we at. It's just embroidering the borders of the flowers. This is a beautiful file. Okay guys, so this is done. I'm gonna go ahead and move the hoop away and we're gonna start with the next one. This file, it is beautiful. It embroidered amazingly, no issue whatsoever. So that means that I can repeat this file for sale with no problem. Look at how beautiful the colors, gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to bring the next one and then I'm going to start cleaning this up. So this one is the one that is all white. Uh, I made a mistake in the beginning that I placed this paper on the black shirt and it was the other one. This is the all white one. It's only one color. It should be straightforward um, embroidery. It has the same face at the bottom like I showed you before. Okay, so guys, I'm going to take this off. Actually, let me just trace it. Trace, 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 people. Let's complete this and yeah, let's get started. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, play some nice background music, and I'll see you at the end um, when this is done, okay.
So these are the shirts. I am loving this black one. It looks amazing. These colors are unbelievably nice. The file embroidered with no issues. Of course, I clean up the file before I um, place them on my embroidery machine. So it made a bit different. No issue whatsoever. Same as this one uh, on the navy blue shirt. This one embroidered faster because it's a smaller um, size design on the skeleton. No flowers or anything like that. I decided to do this on the navy blue just to see how it looked, and it looked pretty good. I am considering making it in a black shirt, uh, and I didn't put any other extra stuff because um, not everybody likes flowers on their shirts, and also you can use it if you're a male or a female. Um, it's straightforward, and I like it a lot. So guys, uh, I don't know what to do. If I should repeat it in black, what do you think? Let me know. Let me know down on the description box if you think I should make this one in black as well. Um, like I said, it looks amazing on the navy blue shirt. I have a lot of black shirts, more than I have navy blue. And if I don't have to invest on extra navy blue shirts, you know, I might just do it in the black. I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. But I am very happy with both designs. And yeah. So guys, this is everything for now. Don't forget to click that thumb up on your way out. Like I said before, I am trying to reach my 4,000 subscribers by December. So share my videos with others. That will help a lot. I will see you soon with new content. Until next time, bye. Hasta luego.